Yeah. Oh, oh, he feels pretty good, man. The current, he feels big, man. Oh, mine's good, dude. Mine's huge. <laughs> That's the biggest one of the day, for sure. Oh, oh, I'm gonna. Oh. Mine came off, bro. Mm, that's the one we were looking for, y'all. Boys, today the plan is simple. We're finally getting some rain here in Jackson, Mississippi. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go down to my local dam, throw some flukes around, and see what we can get. If you like what you see, you should consider subscribing. It's free, it's just one click, and it really helps me out a lot. And speaking of subscribers, we are getting real close to hitting 10,000, which is a huge deal. And uh, to celebrate, uh, I'm definitely doing another real giveaway. And this isn't 100% yet, but my current plan is to give away one of my personal Shimano Stellas. Uh, this is the top of the line right here. This is the nicest reel Shimano makes. It is amazing. It's a 4,000. And I may change my mind and give away two or three other reels instead of this really, really nice one. But right now, the current plan is to give away my own personal Shimano Stella. So if you want a chance to win this, it'll be free, completely free. Just make sure you're subscribed because as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to have that giveaway video going on. So y'all keep a lookout for that. And like I mentioned a minute ago, we're just going to go out and throw some flukes um i like these little four inch uh, fluke juniors by zoom doesn't really matter what jig head you use you just want a strong hook and uh, the only thing weird about my rig is i put a one ounce weight on my leader and that's really just to help me get distance when i'm casting and to help it go down into the current because i uh, hear at my spillway at least you got to cast 50 sometimes 75 yards to get out there just to get to the fish so uh, that weight really helps me with that. So if you have any questions about the rig I'm using, feel free to ask. Uh, my channel is still small enough. I almost always reply when I see them. But uh, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I got a good feeling, so I'll see y'all in the morning. I got a good feeling about today. Uh, as long as the fish cooperate, like if they're out and biting, we should destroy them. Uh, this amount of current here at my spillway is honestly pretty ideal. My last video I filmed here, I spent the second half of it going over the rigs I use. So I'll put that video in the description if you're having trouble figuring out what rigs to use to cast way out into this heavy current. I'll put that video in the description. You can go check the second half of that video and I go over in depth how I tie my rigs and how I fish them. So y'all stick with me. I got a good feeling about today. striper should have but he's feeling slow and heavy like a catfish it might just be because he's in that current he definitely hopped in that heavy current come on be a striper i think it probably is i just can't tell oh yeah he's starting to show oh, yeah <laughs> feels like a pretty decent stripe hopefully it is oh yeah definitely <laughs> trying to get always a good one too man he choked it get him in the net he wasn't going nowhere he got himself in the net Woo. <laughs> that didn't take too long <laughs> nothing wrong with that one it's a good striped bass he choked it man Woo. all right y'all there he is look at that guy that was not did not take long that was like second cast this morning Ooh, that is a solid sea run first one of the day and he's nice man i put him between four and five if not bigger we were definitely gonna weigh him yeah i knew he was pretty good he's a little bigger than i thought he's 5.88 he's almost six pounds five point yeah five point eight eight five point nine almost six pound striper it's like second cast this morning <laughs> Well, y'all, that did not take long at all. I think that was second or third cast this morning and nailed a nice almost six pound true striped bass. Man, that was fun. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time showing him off because it's so early and he bit so fast. I think there's going to be a bunch of this morning. Y'all, I am personally not keeping him today, so we're going to get this one back. Nice, chunky dude. He was right at 5.8 pounds, just under six. So definitely 
a nice thing to happen second cast of the day or third whichever one that was but that is what i'm talking about let's get him back Good. Oh, it's, oh, it feels pretty big, man. Oh, he hit it good when he hit it. He's trying to get me in the rocks. He feels heavier than the last one. The last one was good, man. It looks like a six pounder. Come on. Oh, no, he's going towards the rocks. Don't you do it. You get inside those rocks, boy. <laughs> I might have got him past that. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, whew. Definitely some kind of striper. Be a hybrid. I think it's a sea run, but I'd love for it to turn into a to a dang hybrid, man. We don't have many hybrids left, but we got some. Whoo, he's ripping. <laughs> Whatever he is, he is not little. Oh, he spit it. <laughs> Keep casting. Oh. Dude, I, I don't know. I can't tell if he's big or not. He doesn't feel huge, but I don't know. It might just be coming at me. Dang, he's going all over the place. Come here. Yeah, just a little guy. But it's a striper. We'll take him. <laughs> yeah there he is nice little two pound or so striper i knew he didn't feel as big as that first one but that was fun i'll take him any stripes a good striper in my opinion let's get that little guy back let's get him back Almost missed the hook set on that one. Oh, he feels good. He's definitely hopped straight into that current, but feels good, dude. Oh, get out of those rocks. Come here. He feels bigger than the last one. The last one was a little small. I don't know if he's as big as the first one. He's certainly digging down. He doesn't want me to get him in. I don't think he's a giant, but he feels good. About to freak out because of these rocks right here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're choking it today, man. They're, usually I hook them right in the top of the lip. Today they are all swallowing it. Oh, got it. All right. Whew. There he is. He's probably three or more. The last one looked like he was between two or three. This one looks like three or more. Whew. Nothing wrong with him. He certainly fought good. He hopped right in that current and pulled me around. Let's see what he weighs. He's not huge. Right at four. He's a little bigger than I thought. I thought he'd be a little over three, in between three and four, but it looks like he's just over four pounds. Nice fish. All right, so this morning so far, we caught a six pounder, a two pounder, then this four pounder. Let's see if we can keep going in multiples of twos. I'd love to pull out an eight or a 10 next. <laughs> That's three landed and one lost. <laughs> That's half a limit caught. All right, we're gonna get him back now. Thank you for that fight, good sir. All right, man, we're doing pretty good so far. We've landed three and we lost a fourth already. I don't know if I'll include that in the video because it's kind of embarrassing. I got him all the way into me and he spit it right here. I might throw it in there, but so far out of like 10 casts or I don't know, maybe 15 casts, he got four, four fish, so. Just casting all the way into that white water, catching up with my slack and then just jigging it as it flows down the river. Uh, <laughs> as soon as it stops flowing with that current, I go ahead and burn it in. Otherwise, you'll hook these rocks. Like I just touched a rock as it came out, so time to get out of there. And that's all it is, it's just a numbers game, a number of casts. Uh, these fish really aren't that picky if you put a bait right in front of their face. That's the hard part, just getting one right in front of them because they move so much.
in our good spot. We'll see if it is or not. Yeah, oh, oh, he feels pretty good, man. He's pulling me straight down. Oh, he came at me, he's coming at me. Definitely a striper. Oh, he's on the rocks. Get over those rocks, you mother. <laughs> I, don't know. I can't tell if he's big or just fighting me the whole time. Definitely seems like he doesn't want to get caught right now. Ooh, there's got to be a, a striper fighting like that. Yeah, come here, guy. He ain't huge, but we'll take him. It's the right species. Now he took my fluke. He said, I want that fluke. Oh, but he got himself off. That's nice. Another smaller one. Another two pound, maybe a little over two pound. If he was a little big, if he'd been eating more, I'd, I'd put him over two. But he doesn't look that big. Oh, goodness. He smashed it, though, man. He wanted it. <laughs> All right, let's get him back. We're looking for his daddy. Yeah, didn't miss that one. Oh, he got straight in that current. He feels good, man. Come on. He's oh, he's trying to doll me onto those rocks. Get over those rocks. Again, I have no idea if he's big or not because he hopped straight in the current. He feels big, man. Come here. Oh, I feel messing around with them rocks. He should freak out here in a second. Yeah, he feels good. Oh, it's because he is a good one. I just saw him. Oh, he's ripping. Come here. I want you. You're a good one. Yeah. Another bigger one. And man, he fought good. Let's see if I got my net. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I knew there were some more bigger ones out here, and he choked it too, man. He might be bigger than that first one. That's a good one. There he is, y'all. That was a nice, long, true striped bass right there. We call them sea runs, but that's a nice striper. Let's get a weight on him, man. I wasn't expecting, well, I was hoping, but man, most of the ones we've been catching today have been between two and like four pounds, so I didn't know if I could expect to get a good one like this or not. Yeah, he's good. He's not as big as that first one. The first one was 5.8. This one's 5.35, it looks like. A nice true striped bass though. <laughs> All right, y'all, here's that last one. Another good striped bass, man. I thought he was gonna be bigger than he was, but he's still 5.35 is what it's settled on. Ain't nothing wrong with that one. <laughs> we caught a couple good ones like this this morning, but most have been in the two to four pound range so far. So hopefully we can keep getting big ones like that. <laughs> All right, another great one. He was a uh, 5.35, second biggest this morning. Hadn't quite hit any over six pounds this morning, but man, they are ripping. They're biting good. <laughs> not counting, if I counted the one I lost at the bank, that would be a limit six fish, but we're not gonna count them yet, so <laughs> we're one off a limit. Whew. That was a good striper. Let's get him back. I'll come back now. I barely felt that one bite it. I can't tell if he's just real little or if he hops straight in the current. He doesn't, yeah, he's got some weight to him. I was gonna say he doesn't feel huge, but yeah, I don't think he's as big as some we've caught this morning, but he bit it. Yeah, he's a little. Is that even a striper? Yeah, it is. Come here. He ain't too little. Another two pounder. Yeah, he's probably the smallest of the morning. I put him right at two pounds. He's probably pound and a half, two pounds. Either way, he's a striper and he bit my bait, get him back. That's up there in it. Oh, he bit it up in there. Oh, 
He feels good, man. He might. It might just be how he kicked it, but he hit it as soon as. Yeah. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. Oh, he went and hopped in that current. Let's see if we can get him in. He feels good. He is pulling. If it's a stripe, it's a good one. I hope it is, man. Fighting the weird. About to freak out. Yeah, it's a striper. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> no. Another good one. He's not as big as I thought. He just hopped straight in that current. He was mean. Here he is. Yeah, he's he's probably only three. Oh, he's got a weird spine. Look at his spine. No wonder he was fighting so weird. Dude is like <laughs> messed up. But yeah. Nice. Another one. That's the sixth one landed. Yeah. Now we're talking. Hopefully we can go find his daddy. You want? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We were on immediately. I didn't even feel invited. It's thrashing around on top. I don't think that's a good sign. It could be a gar. I hope it's a striper. If it's a striper, it's a good one. Oh, come on. Oh, he's going towards the rocks. Feels heavy, man. I think we might have got him past the rocks. Oh, he's thrashing around out there. Whatever he is. Oh, he is not happy about it. It's a stripe. Looks like a good one, yeah. Good enough for sure. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's another good one, man. He's long. Blind in one eye. That's a long one, man. Oh. Long, skinny one, blind in one eye. I'm surprised he hit it, but yeah. See, this is how they look in the rest of the country. They get longer before they get fatter. I don't know why he hadn't been eating more, but he's long. Let's weigh him. Yeah, it looks like he's right at 4.2 pounds. Man, if he'd been eating more, he'd be big. He's just long, longer than he is fat. All right, y'all, here's that last one, man. He is long. That's a long one, man. He's probably close to 30 inches, but he doesn't have nothing for a belly on him. <laughs> That's how they look everywhere else in the country. They're long and skinny, but here we have so much bait. Ours usually get fatter before they get long. And look, he's blind in that eye. I'm surprised he even saw my G. Nothing wrong with him though. Nice four and a half pounder. If he'd been eating, he would have been huge. Over that. Oh, that oh yeah, I mean, they're here. They just started, they, yeah, there he is. Yeah. Ooh. He hopped in that current. I can't tell if he's big or little. He was the same spot right in the middle in the white water man they keep hopping straight in the current and it's hard to tell <laughs> oh he feels pretty heavy come on the biggest one i hooked today i lost right in front of me i hope that doesn't happen now this one feels really heavy About to turn around, yeah. Oh, be a hybrid, come on. Oh, he's dogging me on the rocks right now. I can't tell if it's a stripe or a, or a hybrid. If you want him though, I might need a net job. <laughs> I lost my last big one right here. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, he's a, oh, mine's good, dude. Mine's huge. <laughs> That's the biggest one of the day, for sure. Oh, he, oh I'm gonna lose him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, up. Woo! Double up, Voo got, just got on. I just got my biggest of the day. He's huge. Come on, Voo. Let's see what he got. Came oh. Mine came off. Bro, look at that thing. Mine cut me off. Oh, yeah, that happened to me on my last big one. That makes me think maybe the big hybrids came out. That's a that's a sea run. He's just huge. Oh, let's weigh him. I want to know. That's the biggest one of these I've caught in a minute <laughs> down here. Ooh. Right now it's saying 8.2. I believe that, 8.25, 8.2, Oh, 
That's the biggest one of these I've caught in a while, y'all. That is a nice striper. <laughs> oh man, y'all. That is the biggest true striper I've caught down here in a long time. I almost thought he was a hybrid, but that ain't no hybrid. He was eight pounds, 8.25, eight pounds, eight and a quarter. That is a big true striped bass, man. <laughs> mm, that's the one we were looking for, y'all. He is eight pounds and a quarter. That is a massive donkey of a freshwater striper for us. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with him. Look at that striper. That is a huge sea run, man. I'll get it. Yeah. I pressed it. There you go. Woo, that one ripped when he took off. I'll net him, dude. The last ones have all been right there in the middle. He's definitely a good striper. Oh, he's ribbed. That might even be a hybrid. Uh-oh, he didn't rock you, did he? Yeah. He's going to freak out a lot when he gets right here. <laughs> oh, he's still out there. He's got to be good, dude. But I think that's a good one looking at your rod. See his rocks. I'm ready with it. All right. Looks like he's... Yeah, that might be a hybrid. That looks like a... that's a hybrid. Bring him here. Oh, big old oh. hybrid striped bass from my yeah. boy. What's up? Thank you for pressing the record button. Yeah, dude, that is a fat hybrid. So, boo, just caught what I've been wanting all morning, a nice hybrid striped bass. And look, I got a true striped bass that's about the same size, and I thought he was going to be a hybrid. But yeah, look, those two dudes have been schooling together. You can tell the one on the left's a hybrid and the one on the right's a, a sea run or true striper man they're literally the same size they were yep. stocked at the same time <laughs> hell yeah Woo, awesome nice. yeah, yeah. Good ain't nothing wrong with that that's what i want though those things pull so hard i mean these ones pull really hard but those ones dig man <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll uh i'll link to his channel in the bottom he he fishes with me here all the time we've been doing this for years so y'all check out vu's channel he's a damn good angler oh yeah Everything. <laughs> Woo. Oh, yeah. That's a bass, I think. He's jumping. I got a largey. Or maybe a spotted bass be a spot. I'm skiing him across the top. <laughs> Look at him. Woo. A little largey. Look at that little guy. A little large mouth. Nothing wrong with him except he's not my striper. Well, y'all, I had an absolute blast out there this morning. I mean, we tore him up. And I had the whole place to myself uh, for the first, like, hour or so. I managed to get at least a I definitely limited it out before anyone else showed up. And then they started trickling in and my bite slowed down. But even though the bite slowed down, the size, the size of the fish did not. They kept getting bigger and bigger, and we caught that big one there at the end. So yeah, I, I had a great time out there, and I hope you had a good time watching it. And if you did have a good time watching it, you, you should consider subscribing. Uh, it's free, it's just one click, and it really helps me out a lot. And uh, you definitely want to be subscribed because we're almost to 10,000 and to celebrate I'm going to be giving away something special uh, one of my own personal Shimano Stellas I love this reel there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it's just I, I've got several other reels I use more and I really want to show my thanks if you're new to the channel I do these giveaways whenever I hit subscriber milestones what I consider to be subscriber milestones and we haven't given away anything this nice and I'm not guaranteeing we, we give away stuff this nice in the future but for 10k I I had to do something special so you can trust me you want to subscribe uh, not only for the content but so you don't miss your chance of getting the premium reel from shimano this is an amazing reel it was a great morning but uh it's just the first day of what was predicted to be a good amount of rain so i think i got a lot more coming soon so thanks again for watching and y'all stick with me